Okay, welcome back to another YouTube episode on the channel. Thanks for joining. We're always looking to grow the audience, so if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment, get involved. We'd love to have you here. So Kenny's the ideas man. You are an ideas man, Steve. He's coming up with all the ideas for what to put on this channel. <laughs> Kenny, what's your idea for this episode? Okay, so um, it's a tried and tested video uh, for YouTube through the years, and it's a React video. So what we're gonna do. Right. What's a React video? Well, a React video is pretty, it's, I mean, it's in the title. All right, so yeah. what, am I, what am I reacting to? What should I well, react to? Well, I thought it would be a good idea to go through the archives and look at some of the select videos that you've done throughout the years. Right. And uh, yeah, just sort of, maybe there might be some funny stories, there might be some lessons that you learn, and yeah. Uh, got yeah. You. Got you. This could be embarrassing. Could be, yeah. I, so I do keep all my hard drives from all the years of uh, that have gone by, and so there's a whole bunch of them in the office. Um, I'll go grab them for you, you can go through them, find some gems, find some shockers, whatever it might be, and we'll, we'll have a look at them and, and we'll see what we can find. All right, okay. sounds good. All right, gone into the archives. Gee, really? Found a few. Bit to work through there. Do you know which one's the beginning or not? Uh, yes. Starts with ex-girlfriends and works into locations. <laughs> That's good. Uh, How'd you go? Good, mate. Yeah. Ready to go. Awesome. All right, well, let's get into it. Show me what you come up with. Let's load them up. Or what I came up with once upon a time. All right, let's have a look. So they should be in chronological order right. from when you first started to pretty close to where we are now, I'd say. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Start with video one. Video one. So this was a personal project. I went to uh, Japan, Tokyo, Kyoto and Osaka with um, Joe and we traveled around for 12 days and I had my camera. And by the end of it, I actually realized that, oh, I've got so much good content here. I should, I should do like a little creative project. So I actually made a travel book called yeah. Top 2 Japan. I think I had all these big aspirational ideas of like selling the book and it being huge and bigger <laughs> than Lonely Planet. <laughs> I don't think anyone's bought it ever. So I got a graphic designer and we made these books and I'm actually really proud of them. They look really cool. Are they still for sale? Uh, I think so. I think they're on Amazon somewhere. If you go top two Japan, you'll actually find these somewhere. <laughs> mm. Okay, we'll move on to video two. And what is this? Oh no, this looks old. This looks really old. Let's see. Today is my wedding day. Um, currently getting ready with my best friends at the moment. I'm uh, really excited to have all my girls here um, to be here for my special day. I have my mum here as well and I'm really excited at the moment. I woke up this morning at 5.50 buzzing and just really excited. Can't wait to get down that aisle and meet Pete there. I'm actually, this is actually good that you, you chose this. Yeah. This was the first wedding I ever did. Yeah. Or second. Okay. Um, I just got back from overseas and um, beautiful Tess, who you can see on your screen now. Um, I used to work with her at Win TV and she said, um, you know, can you film my wedding? I think I got a lot of inspiration for wedding videos on Vimeo. If yeah. you go through Vimeo, you can find, you know, there's all these amazing wedding videos from all around the world. Yeah. And, um, there were a couple, I can't think of their names right now, but there were a couple overseas which were just phenomenal and had this real storytelling element to it. So um, I thought I'd try that out. And, and I think it's 
yeah, I, I would like to do that again today. I probably haven't done it as much recently, but getting their thoughts as they're getting ready before the date yeah. um, is a really special moment. Everyone's nervous as hell before their wedding. Mm. And just like, you know, why are you here? What are you excited about? Like those questions are like, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to make the bride cry either before. So it's a bit sensitive, but I thought I'd give it a whirl because I know Tess as well. So yeah, um, yeah I, was, I was lucky in that. I'm actually using the 50 mil there too. Just a bit of technical yeah. talk and it still stacks up, doesn't it? I love that. Very good. All right, on to the next one. What have we got here? Let's we have a look. just want to make health simple. Oh, yeah. So we're taking correct breathing into public schools and we're going to be teaching the youth and then we're also going to be teaching the teachers so then the teachers can continue to integrate it into the classroom. It's not just another program, it's actually something they can use to optimise their already existing programs. This is the Breathe Project. So I believe, I can't remember if this was just like a video to go on their um, website and social media, yeah. which it was, but it might have also been on their like um, Fun Me page. And for these sort of shoots, like one, they're doing a, a good thing, they're, they're helping people, you know, with their mental well-being and all that sort of thing and people in schools. And the sort of shots you're getting up, you know, we were in Noosa for the day, hanging out on a beautiful sunny day. So just walking through the beach, getting shots of them going surfing. I mean, they're the best sort of shoot. So they um, went to a cafe and just went to random people <laughs> and just said, oh, you know, this is who we are and this is what we do. And, and do you mind if we just do some breathing with you and some meditating <laughs> in a cafe? So it was pretty random and I'm just shooting on the fly. So let's just see what happened. We just want to teach you a breathing technique hand comes to the belly, just over the um, belly button, and then the left hand comes to the chest, just below the collarbone there. So we're going to essentially, like we're filling up a glass, breathe into the belly first. It's really expanding like a balloon, and then all the Everyone way up to the it. chest. Yeah. Yeah. No one told us to rack off, they, they said, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> just opening this one, looking at the first frame, I really don't even know where that is. <laughs> Three eighteen minutes. Let's do. Oh. Oh. I have the best job in the world. I get paid to stab people. My favourite place to stab people, probably on the this face, because when you're done, you idea. can really see it. This was Me, not my. It's the nape of the neck, idea. right back here. Kids are my favourite. I hate it when they cry, though. That sometimes happens, and it makes me feel pretty bad. Do I like what I do? Yeah. I love being a professional body piercer. So this was not my concept, let's just get that, that out in the open. Uh, but I'm open to, you know, clients' ideas and exploration. And especially when they're that passionate and they're like, this is my idea and this is what I want to do. And oh, I've got an idea and we do it like this. And I'm like, okay, let's go for it. <laughs> And so they're a piercing and tattoo place, or maybe just piercings, yeah. just piercings, I think. And um, so I wanted to, yeah, do this setting in a dark and dingy warehouse. I can't remember where that was. Yeah, but you know, that there was pretty are. different to my regular clients. So that was something different. Yeah. <laughs> You've picked some good ones here. Yeah, good. Hold on. This one's for Iron Man. Um, I remember this one pretty clearly in Cairns. Hi, I'm Tammy Barker, and I'm here in Cairns, tropical North How's Queensland. The lighting? Beautiful, well, the natural. countdown is on to the 2018 Cairns Airport Iron Man Asia Pacific Championship right here in Cairns. Tammy's a pro. Pretty sure that was the first take. Got it. First, first up. Very, very soon, you're going to be right here in Palm Cove for the swim start and, of course, the swim finish. Now The brief for this video is just a bit of an informational <coughs> description of the Ironman in Cairns. So I guess athletes will be looking at this and going, okay, so what am I in for here? When I, so I filmed a promo for it, which is what we're watching, and then I filmed the actual event. And I remember jumping on the back of a motorbike with some guy and just flying. <laughs> going the speed limit, of course, but just going really quick yeah. and holding on for dear life along the um, the beautiful road that leads from Cairns to Palm Cove, if you've ever been there. 
Cairns is beautiful. If you haven't spent much time there, get there. Yeah, yeah sounds good. Definitely recommend. All right, moving right along. So we're up to that one, sorry. Let's open it. Ah, oh, this is cool. I'm really proud. We've been here all week, so we got here on Monday and we're working with 13 young women. We've been performing a play called Book Al, which is about the life of the phenomenal Henrietta Formile, who was the first Indigenous lady from Australia to ever join the UN. We do workshops. So yeah, this is um, up in Cairns, and um, I did a lot. Of, I didn't have many clients in Cairns when I was up there for a year. I'd, I'd fly back to the Sunshine Coast, but I did work a bit with Jute, which is a local theatre company up there, and they do a lot of community work and these awesome stories that inspire. You know, um, a lot of the time, young Indigenous people um, up there. So it's really cool to shoot these ones. You know, I, I get so. Um, I get emotional behind the camera sometimes when I'm filming these interviews and filming the people and it's like, look at I like really um, <laughs> hold back the tears sometimes because it's, it's really cool. You see it yeah. raw and you see it as it happens and yeah, it's really cool. So that was that one. Moving on. Did you like that story, Bear? Yeah, I really did. Yeah, well it's not really a story, was it? Yeah, it's like a poem. It's a poem. You know what a poem is? Yeah, it's like heaps of rhyme and everything. Exactly. <laughs> I love this. This is so good. This is Vicky from Uncle Bearskin, and she writes children's books. And she's actually got her son on the other side of that couch <laughs> with the puppets. And um, that was just filmed, you know, on the fly. He was just um, improvising and making it up as they no, go. It wasn't scripted. No, no, <laughs> no, no. She just read the book and he would jump in. How, did you have a lab mic on him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't post-recorded. We... Yeah, it sort of worked best like that, that mm. he just did it on the fly. So he had a mic back there, had its challenges, but it was a beautiful setting and I think it, it worked really well. All right, last one, <clears throat> wrapping it up. Um, Tom here from Rawlands Media Co. And I just wanted to say Happy New Year. If you're still on holidays, then I'm very, very jealous. If you're back at work, back behind the desk, then let's chat about that video project that maybe you haven't got around to doing, or maybe there's an idea there that you don't know where to start and you need to talk to someone and hash out some ideas. Oh, okay, I can't even watch. That was when I were, you weren't helping me out. So I was just me, a one-man band, and you don't often get much time to um, promote yourself. You, you know, of course you share things on social media, but in January, which is when this would have been done, is my quiet time. And so usually I just try and jam pack that with like trying to drum up business. So I would do you know, a bit of a call to action video saying, hey, you know, if you want some videos made, then give me a call. Any business, when you're working for yourself, you wear all these different hats and it's really difficult to do marketing, do accounting, you know, send quotes. So yeah, that's where I was at there. <laughs> trying to drum up business after spending all my money at Christmas. So that wraps it up really, I think. Yeah, mate, how'd I go? Yeah, you chose some um, classics there. Yeah, well done. I'll call them classics. So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, we really enjoy having you here. Please like, subscribe, comment below, get involved. We want to grow this community and this audience and we just actually like doing this. It's quite fun. And it's cool to have Kenny on camera. How'd yeah. you go? Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it in front of the camera this time around. Which, there was huge demand. Uh, it was actually given giving it to the fans, yeah, which is good. Huge demand for Kenny. If you want more of Kenny, please comment below. Any, anything else? No, no, I don't think so. Yep, new people here, like and subscribe. Old people, tell your friends. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next one. Awesome, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.